Here we go, Jake Davis versus Isaiah Sekel. This was supposed to be our main event, Kyle, but has been downgraded to the Coven event since Isaiah Sekel did not make weight. That does not mean this fight is going to be any less exciting. I agree 100%. A win from Jake Davis, where does he go? Does he go professional? I think he does if he can win this. I, I think of Jake, Jake Davis' career, if he wins this, you go professional. And although the whole card has been around the Northeast, this card right here is truly upstate versus downstate. 100%. Let's see how our upstate champion faces that downstate champion in, in Isaiah Sakiel. I'm excited for this because this is one of these rivalries that, no, Jake Davis doesn't really see it as a rivalry, but a lot of people do, unknowingly, think it's a rivalry. Downstate, upstate. Everyone always talks trash between the two. We're better. You're better. We're better. You're not. You know what I mean? This will solidify one of those questions. Absolutely. This will show who is who, and the cream will rise to the cro to the top. And here comes Jake Davis with the belt around his shoulder. Mike Walter is the third man in the cage. He wipes off the uh, canvas. Isaiah Sakiel out of the blue corner. Jake Davis coming out of the red corner out of Henzo Gracie Latham. Jake Davis, big man in there. I throw it up to Mike Falvo. Following contest scheduled for three rounds is a non title fight in our welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Chop Chai Muay Thai and Evolution Grappling out of Middletown, New York, Isaiah Saki. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, representing Henzo Gracie Academy out of Latham, New York, Jake the Rattlesnake Davis! And your referee for this bout is Mr. Michael Walter. <laughs> Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Mike Walter. Check with the judges, fighters. Round one, we're off. Here we go. Jake Davis. Looking to engage right in the center of the cage. Sakiel. Sakiel. Sakiel doesn't even really look like uh, too old. Big shot right there. Jake Davis loaded up for that final shot. You know what, though? Those guys and girls aren't used to those exchanges. Just handle them, just like Isaiah Sakiel did. Let's see where this transition goes. Let's see if Sakiel can do something with that. He's got those under, that underhook on the right side. Jake, De Jake Davis seems very comfortable looking for that reversal. Got the nice wizard. Job. Isaiah Sakiel. Nice doing, knee to the inside. Isaiah is doing a nice job with that neck pressure, too, with that head pressure. Yep. Not going to really bring too many people if down. If you notice, like he's that. got his head underneath Jake's. That's not common. No, but that's good head position. Absolutely. I'm just saying that's not common in Jake Davis's fights. Nope. Like we said, this is going to be his toughest test. Absolutely. See if he truly is head, head, just a head above everyone else. We'll see where he stacks up with everybody else in the Northeast because, again, Isaiah Sakiel is a champion of another division downstate. Double or over under hook for Jake. Let's see what he can do with that. Let's see if he can just spin that Isaiah Sakiel to the left and bring him into the cage. Sakiel does a good job bringing his hips in when he pushes in like that. 
Isaiah Sakiel does a nice job of creating distance while also creating pressure. Right there, J Jake Davis wants to get his hips in too. He does, he wants to sink the hips in, pull the double legs in and pull it to the ground. You're not gonna be able to lift too many people with your hips away from them. No, but that's why he's trying to keep that close. Isaiah Sakiel is keeping the transition close enough to establish when he's ready to strike. So each one of them has a different transition expectation. Both of them are doing a great job maintaining and uh, uh, applying what they're hoping to do though. Right now I give this a dead draw. Not how I expected this fight to be, but I'm not surprised at the same time. No, they're both very high leveled athletes on, on all levels, ground, feet, and transition. So again, I give this equal right now. Let's see, we got less than a minute left. And usually when they struggle, I feel like, to get someone on the ground, we end up against the cage in the clinch. Yeah, let's see who can steal this first round. This is gonna be a crucial round in this fight. Takedown can win it. Yep, absolutely. If I was Isaiah Sakiel, I, I'd commit to a single leg and pull it. Nope, we got 20 seconds, 15 now. I'd be grabbing that right leg and, and committing to it. Most definitely. A lot of action going on between them, a lot of knees. 10 second warning in the first uh, round. Michael Walter ready to step in here for the stop. So here we go. Interesting round. How are you scoring this? I give that first round as Isaiah Sakiel just by the pressure. I have to agree. I just think pressure, and, and he, I felt like he just had a little bit more significant strikes in there. I feel that the, that the significant strikes were approximately equal, but the fact that Isaiah Sakiel kept pushing the transition is what gave him that round. Okay. Because I feel like they both did a good job of, of making those strikes. strikes. Say, making Jake did have that head kick. Yes, exactly. But... Isaiah Sakiel did a nice job making those, those transition strikes really count. Agreed, interesting first round. Not, not how I expected it to go, but I'm not surprised that it went there. Just because of the high level like we mentioned. Again, both these gentlemen are very high level amateur athletes. So again, we don't really know what to expect except for an even match. Cage Wars did a great job really matching these two gentlemen up. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Round number two about to start. Co-main event of Cage Wars 38. Jake Davis opens up with a front kick. Another kick. Sakiel come pressing forward. Back into the clinch between these two. And Jake Davis is really struggling with uh, Sakiel's pressure. He's just trying to get that outside trip, but he's probably better off going on the inside trip. Sakiel's got the body lock right now. Big Nels Larson in there looking nice transition work by Sakiel, putting that right shoulder pressure into Jake Davis's left shoulder. Jake Davis is doing a nice job trying to defend off of that cage with those knees. He's looking for that over under. That's a nice knee right there. See, I feel like a lot of Isaiah's knees are like to the side like Muay Thai knees. Well, I, I don't know if they're really doing a whole lot of damage. But like they that. definitely are because I'm watching them and he's rooting the opposite foot very well. Okay. Yeah, Davis is really struggling to get that takedown. He did a nice job reversing right there. Sakiel now has that his head back pressure is really a head pressure is really uh Really I, I don't really know Jake why Davis. Nels Larson is stopping that, but that's definitely to Jacob Davis's advantage. That's Mike Walter in there. All right, I'm sorry, why Mike Walter started to stop that. Oh, big shot by Isaiah. Sakiel, nice job over under. Oh, nice takedown. Sakiel on top. Putting on the pressure right now, dropping some bombs. Oh! As Jake Davis gets him off nice his back. Nice job by Jake Davis getting to the knees. He's doing a good job getting out in front. Sakiel keeping the pressure though. The big thing is, you know, you can strike really well, but keeping the pressure on top of your opponent while you strike is a separate art in and of itself, and Sakiel does a nice job of that. Jake Davis is doing a good job of trying to protect himself. 
intelligently as he gets back up to his feet. Mike Walters doing a nice job being in there as a referee. Sakiel with the over and the under. Big right knee right the over, there. Right and left knee, very, very hard. Exhale, abs tight. Dake Davis is getting everything he asked for right now. Sakiel keeps pushing forward. Another big knee after fo followed by a punch. Jake Davis is very calm though right now, Kyle. Although he's being pressured by Isaiah Sakiel, he is very calm. It's really nice to see a high level striker be able to work this transition game. Sakiel is able to keep pressure against Jake Davis, who is a high level purple belt with Henzo Gracie Latham, uh, Henzo Gracie Latham. And big Bruno knee, Costa. big shots right there to end the round. Sweet 10 second warning came through. Jake Davis is still aware, but he's eating some shots. And the end of the round. Big round for Isaiah right there. What does Jake Davis need to do? We, we knew that striking was going to be a little trouble for him going into this from Isaiah Sacchiel. But then the grappling, I thought he would have the advantage. And it doesn't appear to be that, so, you know, that way. You know, but he, you know, I wouldn't say he doesn't have the advantage in the grappling. This is our third but Isaiah Sacchiel has round. the advantage in the transition game. Striking while in the clinch. Striking while against the cage. Striking while uh, defending a takedown or attempting a takedown. So that's going to be the key right now for the third round. Interesting. All right, now I have uh, Jake Davis down two rounds to none. He has to win this round in order to win the fight. I 100% agree. I agree. I have this one-to-one -one right now. Oh, what about you, you? I have a 2-0 two, uh, two in favor of Isaiah. Isaiah Sakiel, I give the first round to Jake. Both coaches giving their fighters the heads up. Sakiel, I think, has done a great job with the head control as he saw his coaches talking to him about it. Against the cage, he's held Jake Davis's head very well. Now, Jake Davis has Tommy Marcelino and Roger Zapata in his corner. That's got to bring some level of confidence. Both foes have been in the World Series of Fighting, uh, the ultimate fighter. Isaiah Sakiel's coach has been in the mix. Jake Davis looked like he was going to go for a takedown, but it was telegraphed. Oh, big left by Sakiel. Nice job by Jake Davis. Looking nice takedown. Take uh, he still hasn't got it, though. Great job by Sakiel to recover. Nice job by both these guys being able to fight through that takedown attempt through the transition. Nice job by Isaiah, by Isaiah Sakiel with that right shoulder pressure, keeping Jake against the cage. Once again, you can see he's got that head pressure into the, the jaw slash neck area of Jake Davis. That seems like it's really giving him an issue. Again, we have to think about how the judges control this fight. Cage control and octagon aggression are part of the judging criteria. So basically, Isaiah Sakiel, by doing what he's doing, is manipulating the cage control to his advantage. Most, oh, big punch right there. Huge shot. Jake Davis is hurt. He's on the ropes right now. He's, he's pretty beat up right now. That's the end oh! of it. Sakiel's putting a finish on him. Oh, that's a stop. Isaiah big finish Sakiel, by Sakiel. Technical knockout. Wow. Big finish. Sakiel puts it to Jake Davis. Wow. That last headshot. Had Jake Davis' head bounce off the top of the uh, cage. Sakiel, the place is quiet right now as Sakiel came from downstate and put a beating on uh, Jake Davis. Impressive showing by Sakiel. Jake Davis showing some great sportsmanship. Jake Davis was undefeated headed into this. This could be good, like, it hurts right now, you lost. But it could be good for his pro career, because we all know, as an amateur, when you turn pro, it does not matter, and here it is. Here we Watch go, got the replays. Isaiah Sakiel Boom. separating, creating some distance. One, two, one, two, two. See his head ripped back and hit the top of the cage. The biggest thing is the distance that Isaiah Sakiel created. He did not jump on the opportunity. He waited for the opportunity for, to present itself. Now, how much do you believe Wayans played a role in this? 
I'll tell you what, Isaiah Sakiel did not be lacking, did, did not be looking to lack for energy. No, How's that? Came in begging, I want to throw it up to Mike Falvo. Referee Michael Walter has called a stop to the fight at one minute, 19 seconds into the third round. For your winner, Isaiah Sakiel. Impressive show by Sakiel. You know, he, Again, he, to the folks at home, though, Isaiah Sakiel did not make weight. I'm curious, though, how the judges scored the first two rounds. I'd be I'd be interested to look at those scorecards. Let's see I, 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 I think he had the first two rounds. Uh, you thought it was 1-1. I'm curious to see what it uh, looked like. 